What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to our episode of Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, guys... Hey, editor here. I decided that Cat could get these videos out faster if I didn't make a bonk and death counter so there won't be one anymore. Count them yourself if you feel the need. Power moves, you can only get 61 in the beginning of the game. So, uh, yeah, 62 through 69 we can't get yet. Very unfortunate. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um. So... I want to tell you guys something. If you want to get the rest of the moons for sinking, make sure you activate this guy as soon as you can. So as soon as you get world peace, make sure you talk to him so uh, he appears in the Metro Kingdom. So um, while we're here, we are going to go ahead and change our outfit. Well, actually, actually, we didn't even get to use the poncho to use the underpants last episode. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with this. We're going to deposit all of our moons and see what we're left with, right? And, um, yeah. It's gonna be a fun time. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, we got some power. We're 84 now, guys. Amazing. <laughs> Alrighty. And here we go. Here we go. Where are we gonna go? That's the question. Uh oh, we got a proverbial fork in the Which kingdom do you think Bowser went to? Lake Kingdom or Wooded Kingdom? So I did a poll. I hosted a poll. Editor, throw the photo on the screen who won what kingdom won the poll. And you guys, by my surprise, Lake Kingdom won. Like I I legit thought Wooded Kingdom would win because a lot of people say Um that Wooded Kingdom, you know, it's a good kingdom. But no, you guys voted for Lake Kingdom. 67% voted for Lake Kingdom. It could be it could be different by now. By the time we're putting it, it be different. Um, but yeah, we're going to Lake Kingdom. The Lake Kingdom, a splendid idea. Alright, so yeah, we're going to Lake Kingdom. So uh, yeah, you guys voted for Lake Kingdom? We're going to Lake Kingdom. I know the poncho seems a little out of place, but we didn't get to use it a lot in the last episode, so we're using it this episode. Uh, we got all the souvenirs as well, so we are chilling right now, guys. And, uh, yeah, we're having a fun time. Alright, there's our little Coast Arena sticker. Our very first sticker in the game. There is something I should do. I should do this. We'll, we'll, we'll do it in a minute. He kidnapped Tiara, and now with this binding man, he's got a wedding ring. Is he gonna steal a whole wedding? Seems like we've got some time to kill. What's your use of useful skills? No, 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 I don't care. I can tell you guys all the skills we need now. Let's be honest here. Uh, it says they're known for the, their fashion. And, oh, there's a famous wedding on there called the Lock Lady Dress. At the end of the episode, guys, we're going to go back to the Cascade Kingdom for something very specific. You'll see why. Alright, Lake Kingdom, Lake Lamode. The Brutals are here, so which means Bowser was here. So... All right, Brutals over the lake. All right, well, we'll have to do it, right? All right, try to click all the moves we can. But customary to every episode, we gotta read the brochure. So, here we go. Uh, of course, if you wanna skip, uh, just skip to the time set the editor has put on the screen right now. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Lake Kingdom, land of beauty in clear waters. Lake Lamode, the town both in and on the lake. Um, window shopping. Considered the most luxurious garment this kingdom has to offer, the Lock Lady dress is displayed in the show window of the Water Plaza. Of all the garments created by the Lock Ladies, only the very best and most beautiful is selected for this great honor. It's a national treasure. It's said that wearing this dress brings eternal happiness, so naturally every bride yearns for it. Sadly, this lovely one-of-a-kind item is not for sale. <clears throat> Unfortunate. Um, the dome, wa the domed water plaza, Lake Lamode, the land of fashion. The underwater plaza is protected by a glass dome, but don't worry, there's air inside to breathe. When you look up at the lake from within the plaza, you can see Dory swimming amid th the stunning scenery. The lovely Lockleys. Lockleys are exceedingly flexible, but they also possess a deep strength. Many have become accomplished designers, and this balance may be their secret. All right. Zippers of mystery. Fitting of a kingdom famous for its fashion, you can find zipper art all over the place here. The bris can be securely fastened as well, as open and closed freely, so perhaps they have a deeper meaning. That said, this particular zipper is more than decoration. It actually works, so stop by and give it a try. 
Dory the Aquatic Buddy. This gentle creature spends its days swimming gracefully in Lake Lamote. If you're confident in your abilities, swimming alongside it might make for some wonderful memories. Although it, although able to live in any aquatic environment, some have heard Dory compl complain that the lake is too small. Keep an eye out for Dory-themed souvenirs, which tourists just love. Fresh or saltwater, Dory's swim anywhere. Dory's is in plural, so there's multiple Dory's. There's not just one specific Dory. There's multiple doors. I don't know why I accidentally closed out of that, but I did. But anyways, soaked in history. Once a spot for designers to relax and even dye cloth, this soaking pool has a rich history. Since most activity centers around the lake town, this is now a well-known fishing hole. There's even a deep end. Nice. Three keys to the kingdom. Visit the water pods, especially if you enjoy breathing air. <laughs> Swim to, with the local dory for an unforgettable experience and admire the gro the gown that qualifies as a national treasure. Look at the little crabs. Very nice. So, if we take a look at our empowerments here, there are 33 to get uh, in total, but I think we can only get about 25. I think you can only get 25 in the early game. That seems about right, so. Yeah, we're going to do it. Um, as you can see, capture list, we're all caught up except for one. I think at the end of today's episode, we're gonna go. We're gonna go somewhere to get that third capture, and then uh, we'll be all caught up with captures, dude. All right, all right. Because apparently we should have 17, 16. Oh yeah, the coin coffer is number twenty-four for some reason. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, we're all caught up with that, and we finally have our souvenir list. So we have five in the pyramid, Jaxi statue. So yeah, very good, very good. And then the stickers are gonna be all the way over here. Very nice. We're caught up. Let's go. They're the Brutals. They're here too. Yes, they are. All right. Let's get started, guys. Right? G gameplay going. All right. Well, okay, let's get started, right? Ooh, I see a glowing spot. It's a power moon on the lake shore. Very, very nice. You love to see it. Okay, I missed that somehow. We got some Goombas. Got a checkpoint right over there. Also got Brutals over the leg. There they all are. Are we gonna be fighting here? Let me know. I mean, you'll know by the end. I already know, but you know, let me know who you, who you guys think. Wow, this place is beautiful, dude. Look at that. Very nice. All right. Oh, she's crying. My goodness, that monster's minions just stomped in here uninvited. And they stole our kingdom's finest lock, Lady Jess. It's a tragedy. Well, that's not good, right? What? what? Alright. Um, ooh, we got a little note right here. Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to do this one fast. Come on, and get those ones. There we go. That's how you do that fast. That only took like 15, sec 15 10 seconds at, a t at one point, dude. Take notes, dive and swim. Very nice. Um, alright, well, let's go talk to this lady. What's going on, lady? What's wrong? They've broken the stairs to the water plaza. Oh, no. Don't worry, we'll be able to get up there, guys. Trust me. We'll go up there. Alright, watch this. You can throw it to the side. You can throw it to the, you can throw it to the side. Side. You can capture a zipper because, yeah, dude. Let's capture that zipper, right? And we can get ourselves some purple coins. Very nice. So yeah, this is going to be a small kingdom. It should not take us long to uh, to get all the early game moons in this game. So, or in this uh, kingdom. So, we won't be here for three episodes like we were in the same kingdom. So I'm thinking we actually completed way faster than I thought. So, if you're looking for the water puzzle, the way in is right behind me. Very nice. Get those. God dang it. All right, whatever. I can just do that. Boom. Just like that. I'm just going for some purple coins here. Very nice. All right. Um, there's some up there. All right. Well, we'll go this way first because we can get some moon and purple and purple coins over here. Also, these are invisible blocks. I do. I did. Oh, also, guys, I did miss a hidden Luigi in um Sand Kingdom. So I am gonna at the end of the episode we're gonna go. I'm gonna go back there. I'm gonna we're gonna go to a couple places at the end of the episode. So this episode will be a little bit longer. We are gonna go 30 minutes, right? So half an hour will be um, all Light Kingdom, and then the and then the remaining, and then we'll have some extra. Well, I have an extra couple minutes uh, going back to some some places to get to get certain things. That way we can move along. 
All right. Here we go. Ow, dude, I didn't think I was gonna hit that, dude. What the heck? Ow, that's a bonk, dude. What the heck, man? All right, we're gonna go this way. Oh, God dang it. Oh, God. Stop. <laughs> this is unfair, dude. Treasure in the spiky waterway. Very, very nice. Oh, God dang it. This is not fair, dude. No, 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 no. Seaweed guy, man. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here, you jerk. It's like a boomerang, bro. Gabby's like a freaking flying shur shuriken. All right, we can get ourselves a cheap cheap here. Pretty cool, right? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. Underwater entrance. Fish never have to worry about it. Right, yep. We're actually going to go like this. And look, now we're up here. Hey, Goomba boy. Oh. Hey, Goomba boy. Courtyard. All right, this is a courtyard. Watch out, man. All right, so we're going to go ahead and capture a few, few Goombas. Actually... We need to capture the tallest stack, which would be these guys. Right here. Is that a fish pond? Neat. That is neat. Alright, go like that. Oh god. Oh. Alright, I think we got all of them. Oh, we didn't get those dudes. Uh, I don't think I can jump on those guys. No, I'm no! I didn't mean to kill them, dude. Okay, that's fine, because we can just do that. Go like that. I don't think I can hit those blocks anymore. Uh, yeah, I can't hit those blocks. Actually, yes, I can. What's this? Get a heart. Like that. Get a heart. Oh, they respond. Okay, perfect. And, oh, 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 that's the Sand Kingdom, guys. Whoa, it's another painting. Let's head on in. Hey! And as it turns out, you can get more than 61 moons in the Saiyan Kingdom. It is it is doable. You just have to get the secret path to Toast Arena. Secret path to Toast Arena. So now we got 62 here. How cool is that? 62, right there. Boom. 62, boys and girls. So yeah, you do have to... So yeah. That is an early game that you can get. Most of the painting ones count as a uh, post game, though. Um, but yeah, that is an we count that as another early game moon because you get that like right in. No matter what, so I'm gonna actually tell you guys: if you go to wooded first, the Sand Kingdom painting will be in wooded. If you go to Lake Kingdom first, the, the, the painting will be in Lake Kingdom. Ah! <laughs> get side flip, kid. Now all the Goombas respawn and everything, so, you know, it's pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna go like this, and go... Boom. Ooh. Definitely wanna get the coins. Oh, come on! End of the Hidden Passage. Very nice. Alright, let's go! I also think I missed the moon. Yep, right back there. It, did, it still counts my moon shards, though. It, did, it does save my moon shards, which is really nice. Cheap, cheap crossing. So, I did tell you guys that I would show you guys tips and tricks. I would, like, show you guys all the tricks, all the glitches I know. There is a glitch you can do in the Light Kingdom. It doesn't benefit you all that much, because you can't really do anything with it. Actually, there might be something I could do with it. I don't know if it would work, though. I don't think it will. I've tried it before, but I don't think I can get to the area. I'll, I'll try, but I don't think it works, so. All right, there's that. There's going to be some purple coins right here. These ones are pretty easy to miss. Um, we got a moon shard up here in this little hut right here. It's a little bubble. We go down like that. And make sure you gotta you gotta get out fast though, because the cheap cheap will die. All right, there's another one right here. All right. And now, fun fact: you don't actually have to leave the cheap cheap for this one. You can just shake the controller. And that's an attack move. Okay, out. Oh, yeah, you can attack. And there we go. That's the last move shard. Very nice. All right. Awesome. 
That guy's trying to come back, but guess what? He just got fricked. I'm gonna take some coins. Definitely want to take some coins whenever, whenever we get the opportunity to. All right. Very nice. <laughs> Moon shards in the lake. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys something here. See these purple coins here? We're gonna actually only remove one of these wooden posts. Mainly, we're gonna try to only remove that one. That's the one we want to remove there. Yes, the cheap dude disappeared, but that's okay. So you want to remove the center one there, and you can capture one of these two dudes here, maybe. There we go. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the cheap cheap here. You're gonna swim it right up here. You're gonna kind of get on the inside of this. But see, if you get too close on the inside, you won't be able to like, uncapture. So you want to make sure you're kind of on the outside. But if you do it right, Mario will clip out of bounds. No, that's not what I want. Well, that's fine. Just like that. There you go, I saved the clip as well. You can, you're out of bounds. You can clip out of bounds. That's that's the e that's one of the easiest out of bounds clip. In there. There's a way easier one too, though. But uh, yeah, that, that is a out of bounds clip. Uh, by the way, don't try going down there. Uh, you'll just die to a death, random death plane that's alive down there or something. I don't know how it works. Also, you can't actually get in this bubble. is really weird, and it just spans out the entire area. So, there's a lot of weird stuff out here, as you can tell. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool, so you can go around the entire area if you wanted to. There's not really any reason to, but yeah, you can't actually clip into that loading zone right there. Uh, because the bubble, you can't go through the bubble for some reason. I don't know if you can even go under the bubble. And I'll try to go under the bubble, I just don't think it works. Oh. It might. I don't actually know. No, I'm just gonna that was. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's how that works. Um, and there you go. There's a out of bounds clip for you. The very first out of bounds clip. There's there's another easy one that will show you. Is the monster still out there? Nah, he's gone. I'm pretty sure. The shop is on the level above, and there's a roof level above that. How do you get up there? Same way you go anywhere in the water. Swim. Hey, Taka too. Uh, see so you're seeking. Unzip the chasm. Very nice. And look at all these coins, guys. What? <clears throat> I don't know if there's a Luigi in Lake Kingdom. Is there a Luigi in Lake Kingdom? I don't think there is. Because I, I want to show you guys all the hidden Luigi's, but I don't. I can't remember if there's a hidden Luigi in Lake Kingdom or not. I genuinely can't remember. So, um, ah, oh, you found me very clever. This will be our secret little room. Our secret little room. There we go. So. We have all the moons we need to leave, dude. Let's keep this place our little secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you only need, was that, like, eight moons or something? Yeah, that's, like, eight moons. You should see the beautiful shop that's on the next floor up. I will. All right. So, to get in there, uh, we've got to dress up. And so, this is where the dress was displayed. There was a lovely lock that dress in this display window, but that monster came and stole it. He stole our creator's greatest treasure. So, there, a little fun fact... Normally, the game wants you to dress up in the Lake Kingdom's outfit with, you know, the outfit you buy with purple coins. But you can actually get in that display window with another outfit that doesn't require purple coins. And I'm going to show you guys what that outfit is. You're going to get in there. This is our beautiful lock is Welcome, you've come to a troubling time. Yeah, yeah, yep. We're actually going to dress up in our boxers. You can actually wear the boxers, and she'll let you in. Because this is te technically swim gear, you know? Yeah. Alright, how many can help you with new products? And oh yeah, she's got the fashionable stuff. Uh, we'll buy the moon. Charlie Lato! Alright, very nice. Shopping in Lake Lamode. Very nice. We'll buy the fashionable stuff later. As of now, we're not going to worry about it. Alright, because we'll, we'll, there's going to be a lot of coin grinding methods that we can use uh, in the future. So now, if we go over to the lady who has the door locked, if we talk to her, she'll actually let us in. If you travel all the way to Lake King, you should dress for the occasion. To get into the lock lady, just, you know, you'll have to dress like a swimmer. Traveler, you look ready to swim. Please go inside. See? Look at that. You can use the swim gear for the Lake Kingdom, or you can just use the boxer shorts and you get in easily. Alright, there we go. There's the moon. Cappy! I feel underdressed. Very nice. Enjoy your visit. I've already visited it though, you know, that's the thing. 
Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these purple coins right over here. Real quick here. You can get up to the roof through that shaft. Alright, thank you for telling me. There's a life apart right there for you guys. If, of course, if you haven't already, feel free to play along with. You don't have to, but if you want to, feel free to do so. Play along with. Of course, you can also use this as a guide. If you're having trouble finding something, like purple coins or moons, use this as a guide as well. Mm -hmm. These videos are here to help you guys. But also have a fun time, so. There we go. Alright, there we go. We'll go ahead and grab these. There we go, like that. We'll grab these, right there. thought I got it. I didn't. What's in the box? A oh, moon is in the box, baby. Alright. We're gonna go get these purple... Ow, frick. These purple coins. Alright. There is, however, a sub... A sub world. We can go into right here. Let's head on. Or, well, I, I can't speak. Let's head on in here. And uh, see what we got going for us, right? Alright. Got fuzzies. Look at those little jerks, dude. No one likes you, fuzzy. No, that's malarkey, dude. That's bullcrap malarkey, dude. Oh, 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 dude, what the heck? I missed one, dude. What the heck, dude? Help. Is there ground under here? Yes, there is. Alright, flower. Got it. Fall down, just like that. Okay, you just gotta be very, very, very careful. Very, very nice. All right, very nice. Halle boop. Go like that. Boom, we get a moon. Jump, grab, and climb some more. All right. And then we're going to grab these coin rings because these are, this is a lot of coins. You do not want to miss out on a lot of coins, dude. Let me tell you. Boom, and boom. Jump, grab, cling, and decline. Very nice. Alright. Well, let's go fight the boss here, one of the brutals. We won't, we've only uh, fought two of them, so... There's only two more to fight. Either the purple dude or the tall dude. Let's see who we're fighting. Here we go. Yo, 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 yo. You're too late. We already got the walk lady dress. And it even matches the boss's tuxedo, so no way we're giving it back. I gave him a Russian accent, so. He seems like a Russian kind of guy, right? I think so. You do that. Do my like this. And there are fast shots. I've never been able to perfectly. I've never been able to 
do the fastest, but you can jump on his hat, maybe. Well, basically, if you jump on his hat... Okay, well, you can do that as well. That's what you could do. You could do that. I, I don't understand the collision, dude. I've never been able to do the fast strats with, uh, Lango here. I don't need your stupid hat, dude. I'll show you that. I'm not going to play with your stupid hat. Okay, well, you know what? Bye, little dude. Get out of here, you jerk. Get out, jerk. Get far away. You're gonna bounce. Okay. This is unfair. Got him. He's dead. Oh. He's dead. See ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya, buddy. <clears throat> All right, very nice. <laughs> Mario's boxer shorts. <laughs> Brutals over the lake. Let's do this. We did it, guys. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. And that's it. I'm worried about this too. Let's get after them. Uh, I would, but no, we're not going to. I don't know if we can't. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is actually perfect. This works out really, really well. I think it's the server fix. All right. Uh, I'm not taking a photo of that, but you can if you want to. I know where that is, though, so we're fine. All right, I don't need that, but I do need Lakitu here, so. We are going to go back to Cascade at the end of the episode here. Come on. Come on. Oh, you stupid fish. This is the dumbest fish in the world, dude. He just freaking doesn't do what you want him to do. I don't know what he's doing, dude. Like, is he getting it? Got him. Got him. Thank you for the moon, buddy. Da -ba -ba lake fishing. There we go. Is there any other new ones that I might have missed? Well, there's this guy. This wasn't here before. Alright. One, two, three. Boop. Ba -da -ba -ba. Lake Kingdom Timer Challenge. Um, ooh, we can, get, we can do this one real quick. Ow, let's swim together. Later, Dory. Later, buddy. Later for sure. Alright. The rock is when you can go inside now. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, so basically we gotta solve a puzzle here. We gotta make it map with that one. I don't know if I remember the exact path I need to take here, but we're gonna freaking try. That was definitely wrong. I might still be able to salvage this. I think I can. No. I need to face I need it to face the other way. Wait, 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 I got it. Right here. This is it. This is it. Boom, baby. We got it. Howdy, boop. <laughs> Successful repair job. There we go. All right. So, that is going to be the end of the episode. But, I did say we're going to have an extra few minutes of the up. We're going to add an extra few minutes to the end of it so we can go do some stuff. So, what we're going to go do 
is we're not done with lake yet. We still have 7, 9, 11, 14, 16, 18, uh, 22, 23, and we've already gotten 25. So, we have a couple more moons, and then we're done with this place. It is a very short game. It's only going to take us... Next episode will be the last episode of Lake Kingdom, and, uh, yeah. It'll probably be a very short episode, so... Alright, so, we're gonna go... All the way... Back to Sand Kingdom. I'll show you guys where the Luigi is. Then we're gonna go back to Cascade. Um, we're gonna go shopping. And then... We're gonna go to Cap Kingdom and capture a, um... Paragoomba. The Odyssey is powered up. Yes, it has, but we're not going to where it wants us to go. Which would be the Woody Kingdom. We're not going there for a little while, so... We won't go there until after the next episode, so... We can reach the Woody Kingdom now. Maybe Bowser is there. No, he's not, but, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys where Luigi is in Sand Kingdom here. It's actually a pretty easy spot. Actually, there's two Luigis in here, isn't there? There is. There actually are two Luigis. Oh, yeah, look at this. The Jacks in the Inverted Pyramid. I can't believe I didn't see those earlier today. How interesting, dude. How, how did I miss that? I don't know. But anyways, there's like two Luigis here. So I'm going to show you where the first one is. Actually, it might be a Captain Toad. There might be a Luigi and a Captain Toad here. Well, anyways, I'm going to show you guys where the Luigi is. And if it is another, if it's another Luigi, it is. So right here, if you go right here, right there's Luigi! Look at all those coins. Look at Luigi. Very nice. And now, if you go all the way over to that pyramid right there, that floating pyramid where the uh, secret path is, uh, there's going to be either a Captain Toad or a Luigi. I'm pretty sure it was a Captain Toad originally, but it might be a Luigi now. It could still be a Captain Toad, though. If you go, like, right in the center. It's a Luigi! There you go. There's another Luigi for you. If this gets you, if you're in post game, this will definitely help you out and get and get you a lot of the more expensive outfits in the game. If you don't want to do any like coin grinding methods, I will be doing coin grinding methods um, later in the game. Uh, I will make a video, or I'll probably at the end of the very like I'll at the ouch at the end of the uh, video. The end of the episode of whatever the of whatever episode we're on, I'll sh before I start grinding coins, I'll show you how to do it, and then I'll do it. So, so. all right. So we're gonna go back to Cascade real quick, and this is where we'll end off the episode. I was gonna go to Cap, but we'll go to Cap another time. We'll go to Cap at the end of the game. So. So he's gonna tell us more about stuff, dude. Cappy, come on, man. I don't care, dude. <laughs> and look at that, the shop's here now. So, yeah, pretty awesome, right? There's actually, you can get some moons here if you wanted to. It's the thing, do I want to? I mean, I could. There's like two moons I can get here right now. I don't think I need to, though. But, I mean, we'll get one. Ah, welcome. All right, step right up, sir. We'll get this. Cast Kingdom Power Moon. We'll grab this. Because I mean we can. Shopping in Fossil Falls. There we go. There's that one. And then right here. We've got this. Caveman Headwear. Pr pr primitive. Plumber's Fashion. Used from the Skulls of Parabellum. Sure, we'll change that. Why not? And then we got the Caveman Outfit. Early adventurers wore these outfits for maximum freedom of movement, if not maximum warmth. This is basically Fred the Flintstone Mar Mario, dude. We got the Cascading Super Stickers by the T-Rex. Very nice. Oh, uh, you got the Tears model. This dino's pose is so impressively lifelike, you all can almost hear it run. Maybe you stomp on it in the Odyssey. Uh, it'll actually roar. And then we've got the Triceratops Trophy. A replica of a real dinosaur fossil from the Cascading Kingdom. Hang this on a wall and it'll completely transform a room. Very nice. And there we go. <clears throat> there we go. And now look at that, we're King Man Mario. Because why the heck not, right? Alright, we'll go get the other moon we can get here right now. Yeah, if you come back to Cascade Kingdom, because the Odyssey's not over here anymore, so you can actually get a moon. I don't know what rock it is. Is it this rock? No, dude, that's not what I wanted. I think I can find another rock. Hold on. I just gotta go get another rock. Can you break it? No, you cannot. 
There's another rock here. I just need to run this rock into another rock and I win. Uh, right there. All right, run this rock into this rock right here. Through my wings. Rolling rock by the falls. I mean, not really rolling. It didn't really go anywhere, to be honest with you. So, you know. But yeah, there's two extra moves you can get in Cascade Kingdom. I don't even know if they're in order, though. They are. They're completely out of order, but... You know what? It doesn't matter, because there's two extra moves for our moon count, right? Now, if, oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta get a late kingdom moon. Hold up. Right... There. Down with Lake Kingdom. That goes to Lake Kingdom's moon count, by the way. Yeah, he can't find anymore. So, yeah. We've got the two extra moves here. So, there we go. Very nice. Yeah, I just wanted to go back to the Cascade Kingdom um, to get the sticker and stuff because we had all the purple coins and there were two extra moves we kept. So, with that, that's going to be it for today's episode of Super Mario Odyssey. If you watched the video, Please comment, um, Lake Katsuna, your rank is new. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.